Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to divide in scientific notation. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when dividing in scientific notation. The first is that all numbers in scientific notation have a coefficient, a base, and an exponent. Just to give you a quick example of this, let's say I had the number 2000 written in scientific notation. 2000 in scientific notation is 2 times 10 to the third power. The coefficient in this example is 2, the base is 10, or our base of 10, and our exponent is the 3. All numbers in scientific notation will have these three things included in the scientific notation. When you divide in scientific notation, you divide the coefficients and you will subtract the exponents. Dividing the coefficients is just like you would any number when doing division. You would just divide the coefficients as if they were just a normal number. Then when you subtract the exponents, that's just like using the power rule for exponents. If you had like x to the seventh divided by x to the third, you would have to subtract those because when you divide exponential terms, you subtract the exponent. So you would do x to the seventh minus three, which is x to the fourth power. This rule is the same for dividing in scientific notation except the number is written in scientific notation. Your base will always be 10 and you'll always subtract the exponents. After you've divided you need to check to make sure your answer is written in correct scientific notation. And that's because the coefficient may not be between the numbers 1 and 10. Remember the coefficient has to be in between 1 and 10 and if it's over 10 or less than 1 it's not in scientific notation and you have to move the decimal point to make it into correct scientific notation. And if you're learning anything right now don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem on dividing in scientific notation. This problem gives us 9 times 10 to the 9th divided by 3 times 10 to the 4th. If you look at this problem, we have our coefficients here in front. We have a base of 10, and then these are our exponents, 9 and 4. Now when you divide numbers in scientific notation, you have to divide the coefficients. So the first thing we're going to do is divide 9 divided by 3. And that's going to be times our base of 10. And then for the exponents, you're going to subtract them. So you're going to keep the base the same. Our base of 10 stays the same. And then you will subtract the exponents, 9 minus 4. Just like you would if it was a normal exponential term and you followed the quotient rule for exponents. So you can simplify this now. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then that's times our base of 10. And then 9 minus 4 is 4. And then you can check to see if this is incorrect scientific notation, which it is because the number 3 is in between 1 and 10, and our coefficient here has to be in between those two numbers. So this is going to be the solution to our first scientific notation division problem. And all we did was divide the coefficients, we kept the base of 10, and then we subtracted the exponents. Moving on to our second practice problem, this problem gives us 4.2 times 10 to the 7th divided by 2.1 times 10 to the 5th. Now again, we have our coefficient out in front, we have our base of 10 times 10, and then we have an exponent for both numbers written in scientific notation. So to simplify this, we're going to go ahead and divide our coefficients first, 4.2 divided by 2.1. We're going to multiply that times our base of 10 because you keep that just like you would any exponential term when dividing, and then you subtract the exponents. And in this case, we're going to do 7 minus 5 because those are the two exponents that were given to us. Then you can simplify. 4.2 divided by 2.1 is 2. And then we're going to multiply that times 10 to the 7 minus 5 power, so 10 to the second power. And then I check to see if this is in correct scientific notation. And the coefficient of 2 is because it's in between 1 and 10. So I know that this is the right answer to our practice problem here. And finally, our last practice problem on dividing in scientific notation gives us 8.2 times 10 to the 6th divided by 4 times 10 to the 3rd. Now to simplify this, we're going to go ahead and divide our coefficients. We're going to keep our base of 10, and then we will subtract the exponents. So the first part is we have to divide 8.2 divided by 4. 
we keep our base of 10, so times 10 to the power of 6 minus 3 because we're going to subtract exponents. When we simplify this, we're going to do 8.2 divided by 4, and our coefficient is going to be 2.05 times 10 to the 6 minus 3rd power. Well, 6 minus 3 is 3, and then I can check to see if this is in correct scientific notation, and it is because 2.05 is in between 1 and 10. So I know that this is the correct answer to this scientific notation problem, and I know it's written in correct scientific notation. And if you want to do some more practice on dividing in scientific notation, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to get taken to a free practice worksheet download and a free practice quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!